how the Dubai Gorgeous friends on the internet. Today we're going to talk about Fraber Motion because they did something crazy. They released something special. That tech is evolving like crazy. We have ChatGPT, Reptilian Overlords, and AutoGPT. 98% of people don't even know what it is, and the 2% are very vague about it, but they're saying it's mind blowing and they're really excited. So that's all that matters. If you're happy, that's all that matters. I'm not blaming you. And we have Next.js breaking my app every day. Thank you for self. I really appreciate it. Tio's edging somewhere with functions, I should say. And Framer Motion released a new hook, our favorite animation library. So well done for the efforts. <laughs> Let's have a look at it. So let me show you what I have, because I have a wee app here running right now. So let me just run npm run dev for you uh, to show you what I got. So the, the thing I like about motion devs in general is it follows a very declarative style programming, right? Where you just say motion dev and you can see kind of what it does already when you have a look at it. So. We see that this post here, we're importing the index as well. So we're running a transition over it with a delay and we have an initial and an animate and an exit. So if we have a look at it, come on, man, give me my development server. Click. Cool. Here it is. Okay. Check this out. So boop. did you see that? Cool. So this is all running on uh, server side as well. And uh, I'm doing some optimistic updates here, client size. And as you can see, if I push this in and it fails, it'll just go back and revert, which is quite cool. But again, I'm just running this Wii effect here, right? With the post showing up. So it's cool, right? It works. It's nice. Um, the thing is, when you want to do complex animations, it gets a bit funny because you have to do stuff with variants and it just doesn't look as nice. So this use animate that they introduced, I closed up the docs. Shame on me. That's how much I cared. Docs, Fraber, Motion. Let's have a look at it because initially when you look at it, you're like, what uh, What the hell? What are we doing? Are we going back to like a GSEP type thing of imperative uh, programming here? So if we scroll down here, we get to see this new hook called Use Animate. So if you have a look at it initially, you're going to be like, Ooh, that kind of kind of looks like GSAP, doesn't it? I remember working with GSAP like half a decade ago, and this is exactly the uh, how the code looked like, right? Uh, but the advantage of doing stuff like this it would be that you could easily make very complex animations. Uh, and let's see what else. Oh, here we go. So they have like a use animate versus motion div. Uh, kind of like what, what 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 would you use it for pretty much yeah like complex animation sequencing oh you could also do motion values directly animate them and also black box com com components black box components uh is nice where you don't have direct access to the rendered components via dom selector so that's pretty cool uh but what i'm excited about most is just the ability to quickly you know, drop the scope on a diff, for example, and then you can just animate all the like LIs in it. So here, as you can see, he drops it on the UL and then just animate all the LIs because you can select basically everything that's a child of that scoped component. So let's have a look. How would we refactor this in a way? Um, so let me just get rid of this like that hit save and we won't use motion anymore. We'd import these two new ones. Use animate, it's called, and use presence, I believe. Cool. All right, so let me pull up the docs again so we can just get this up and running quickly. Whoops. Okay, cool. So we got that. Now the next step would be to import uh, is to let's go just go down here and say const is present and save to remove and we'll also import scope and animate from use animate like that cool so you take the scope and pretty much just put it on any any element that you want so in this case this one let's do ref equals to the scope right cool and let's hit save awesome now, the thing though we need to do is also import use effect so we can safely animate this without causing any funny side effects. So let's just import that from React like that. So what we can do is just pass the ref down here like that and then we can do a use effect like that. And again here we'll just pass in uh, if, if is present then we can run if 
await animate like that. And again, here we can do any selector we want. So if I want to get this div right here, I can just do a scope.current like that. If I want to animate the H1s down here, easy peasy, I can just do a H1 like that. So that works as well because it's going to select whatever child uh, is of this ref scope down here. Okay, cool. So that's one. Uh, but we'll just do scope.current right now. So I'll do scope.current. Cool. Comma. And here we run our animation. So I can do something like uh, opacity, for example. We'll do 0 to 1. So you can just make an array like that. And you can also add a duration here. So like 0 0.5. And I can also do a delay. So I can just do 0 0.2 and I'll timestamp by the index as well, like that. Cool. So that's it. I ruined something here, but it's okay. This is not going to work anyway because I'm doing await animate here and this is not running an, an async function. So I'm going to just say const enter animation is going to be equal to an async function. And I can pass that in there like that. I should have probably done um, if if is present out here like that. Let's do that. Okay, cool. Awaits scope.current. So that's our selector. Again, it's just like GSAP. Oh, and here we need to close that up like that. And then we can pass in the duration like that. Cool. So after this, we'll just run the enter animation here like that. And if you want to do any exit animations, you can just do say else here and do again constant yeah just like that like an exit animation and then finally uh you can do the save to remove here at the end like that all right now let's hit save and see if that works and look at that works the same way now again i'm not sure how much i love this compared to you know just having this nice and concise down here and it's easy for me to tell rather than having this huge huge use effect here but again the cool thing is it's super easy to orchestrate complex animations like for example here uh, i don't even need the index necessarily here i could just do a like a h1 like that all right so it just selects all the h1s here and i could do a delay of stagger so i can import that from uh frame or motion i can just pass that down here and say 0 0.2 like that okay so so anyway that's gonna be it for me let me know what you think if you found and you messed around with with it more let me know what you think of it i've only played around with it for like an hour or so so i'm really curious to see where this is gonna go also check out my next js course if you're interested in learning more about yeah fun stuff and web development for building out an awesome e-commerce website so that's going to be down in the link in the description and also follow me on Discord and then Twitter and all that jazz. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.